What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We're doing the trailer for The Batman. This trailer is called The Bat and the Cat. A very unexpected drop, but I'm excited to check it out. I didn't uh, think we would get another trailer so soon, but I'm here for it. Speaking of here for it, Hector's not here for it. He had no. the worst time at the airport last night. So he was like, yo, guys are on your own. I need my sleep. So yep. you ready to check this out? Yeah, for sure. All right, here we go. <laughs> that car looks so good. It's so good, Sorry. man. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. You know, Damn. you really could be doing more for this city. This looks savage. The family Jesus. has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. Oh, oh wow. my God! Great shot. <laughs> That's a Amazing that was like really shot. good shot. Yeah, I'm asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? You came. Jeez! Wow. Riddler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. Never think about strikes. <laughs> Nice ring. You new friend of yours? Spicy. I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're part of this too. Hands up! Stay still! How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. <laughs> oh. Way. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay, so he knows. Here's lied to me, Alfred. We all have our scars, Bruce. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? He's up with Delaney. Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. Yo, that beanie yeah. combo is dope. <laughs> it can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Justice. The answer's justice. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. <laughs> wow. Damn. Yo, this choreography oh. looks amazing. Wow. Damn. Oh, okay. So good. Look you know what's funny? We were watching it and I, uh -huh. I, I, not till the very end, I'm like, I don't know how big of a reaction I'm in because I'm so sucked into the trailer. Yeah. I'm yeah. so sucked into this thing. Yeah. Um, this is probably like the most plot heavy stuff we've gotten. It's in, de it uh, definitely is. I really feel like they are hinting Bruce Wayne is going to find out that his family history is deeply rooted in the origins of Gotham City. <laughs> and there is a comic book run, and I think the video games leaned into this as well, that Martha Wayne is Marth is comes from the Arkham family. Like her lineage is the Arkham yes. family. Yeah. And obviously his father's lineage is the Wayne family. And that <laughs> they were like two families that were kind of like budding budding heads. Very Romeo and, and Juliet. Yeah, exactly. So I think like that is an interesting take on Batman because it's something that we've never, we haven't really ever really fully explored Batman's origin past the murder, beyond the murder of his parents. Right, That's kind right. of been the inciting incident that leads to him becoming Batman, but we've never really gone down into like the roots of what that means and having the Riddler being the character that kind of helps us explore that and it seems like he knows pretty early on that Bruce Wayne is Batman, yeah. which is interesting because I feel like for the Riddler at this point, it's not about exposing to Gotham City that Batman is Bruce Wayne, but right. it's more about exposing who Bruce Wayne is to Gotham City, which I think yes. would be really cool. And whatever whatever he views, not just Bruce Wayne, but like the Wayne and the Arkham families. Yeah. And like, you know how, because in Gotham City, it's like the city's corrupt and there's crime and I'm, you know, like I'm gonna, he wants to help the city, but like there's crime leaders. Yeah. Maybe the Riddler also sees 
Gotham is corrupt and and crime ridden, and he sees the Arkham's and and the the Waynes as mm-hmm. like the reason why it is, and maybe yeah. that's why he wants to take out you know Bruce Wayne right. or whatever, or take out the whole lineage. But it, it and, looks really interesting, and it, and I, it gives it, give me mad video game vibes. And I think also what makes a villain like that really compelling is just like with Heath Ledger's Joker, those villains usually think they're always in the right. They're always exactly. doing the right thing for the better of the community of the people. Yeah. And even though they're dubi- doing it in dubious ways, they always feel like they're right. And to me, that makes yeah. a very compelling villain. Oh, a and, thousand percent. Yeah. And Paul Dano is such an interesting choice for the Riddler, because if you look at what Paul Dano looks like, you wouldn't necessarily think like he'd be a great Riddler. But then you yeah. see some of his other movies and some of his other performances, particularly like I Love Prisoners. Like I think he's amazing in Prisoners. He can be so diabolical if he really wants to be. Mm. So that's what makes me exciting about this version of the Riddler. You know, the last time yeah. we saw the Riddler cinematically, it was Jim Carrey. Yeah. And that obviously was a very <laughs> different take. That one yeah. that yeah. one was like a little bit more in line with Batman the Animated Series, but it was like... Yeah. It was elevated in terms of the the comedy because it's Jim Carrey. Well, this he one presented that character that in a way that nobody else could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's Riddler's very Jim Carrey. Whereas this version of the Riddler feels very much like the Zodiac Killer. Yes, feels very like the much Zodiac like the Zodiac Killer. Killer. But also, don't forget. Look, I mean, we have a penguin in this movie too. Is penguin exactly. going to play play a part in this? Like, are we going to see more from the Rogues villain, like Zaz, or or right. any of those other like? Uh, not necessarily like super duper game changing villains, but mm-hmm. just like the little annoyances that Batman has to to deal with uh, right. through through his career. I just can't get over how beautifully this movie shot, man. Like these, I some know, of these scenes yeah. are just incredible. These shots are so great, and I'm a big fan of the motorcycles and the cars, dude. <laughs> of course, <laughs> outside of the Nolan trilogy, this is the you know the next film in the Batman iteration to use anamorphic lenses. Mm-hmm. And because all the other ones were shot with spherical lenses. And I really think that the lens choices that they use, it adds so much character to this movie because you look at the way the background blurs and you look at like how it vignettes and sometimes how it like bends in the background mm-hmm. and just how they're using the camera too when they're putting like between Oswald and Batman, they're putting, you know, like a wall of rain. Like just yeah. all of those yeah. like little details. It adds so much character. Like they have a lot of stuff in the foreground. Like I feel like this movie in 3D will look really cool because they have a lot of stepping. There's a lot of like foreground, mid-ground, background elements Mm -hmm. that really makes it clear. Yeah, and it really makes it pop. It's a little bit of like a different look and style than we've seen from the other ones. Like Mm -hmm. Chris Nolan has a very particular style that looks very Chris Nolan. Zack Snyder has Mm -hmm. a very particular style that's very Zack Snyder. And I like both of them. And Mm -hmm. this one is like, it has like little shades of that. But then mm-hmm. it's also using really interesting composition lighting. Yeah, just the I lenses think really themselves. Really creative shots too. Like yeah, uh, just really just uh, yeah, a car mounted shot. We've seen that a thousand times. But the way right. that they filmed the back of the Batmobile swinging around yeah. while the Penguin's car goes, that was just it, it. Just for some reason, and I think you're right. I think it's the lenses. The 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 energy in that shot just kind of punches. Yeah, and I and think the sound of the vehicle, that. like the, yeah, all I mean, of those so layers add so much. It's yeah. got a very like it look it, it has actually like a little bit of like a zodiac seven and mm. something else. There's some some other movie that's that's like in here. A little it's, Mad Max. It's a little Mad Maxy. It, it does have a little bit of like it, it does yeah. definitely has a little bit of that. Yeah, but there's like all these like little little things mm-hmm. permeating through that you can feel are influenced by other movies that are in more of like the thriller cop drama sort of yeah, category. Yeah, yeah. But with the difference that, you know, it has this it has this Batman element over it, which I think is really fun. And even the yeah. look of Gotham City itself, the Nolan movies used Chicago and Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For this movie, they went back to being a little bit more gothic. Mm-hmm. So they used, like, places in Europe, I think, in like, yeah. Scotland yeah. and stuff like Castles that. Castles and stone and yeah. ivy. And, and then yeah, also, yeah, and then, they, and then also stuff in the United States as well. So I think mm-hmm. they did a really nice blend of these like this like skyscraper gothic look and feel that is something we haven't seen in a while. Like Burton did it, yeah. but I think that Gotham City when you watch those movies now, the scale feels kind of small because you can tell yes. it's like shot in a sound stage. Mm-hmm. Whereas this, they were really able to make it feel expansive and big. Yeah, which it feels I think is very. Really, really cool. It feels very lived in. Like it feels very uh, like it's been around for a while and and. There's not a lot of daytime or sun shots in anything that I'm seeing right now. And even no. if it is like a daytime shot, it's very dark. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I really like the tone they're kind of setting 
for everything. I really just like everything that they're presenting at this point. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing about this yeah. movie where I'm just like, oh, I'm kind of iffy about that. I'm expecting this movie to be a fucking banger yeah, when it comes no, out. That's how I feel. And I think like we got little shades of some of the cool Batman action in BVS where he's like driving the car and the fight scenes. And I know with Chris Nolan, it's always kind of like, oh, you know, the mm-hmm. movies are usually really good. The action yeah. sequences minus a few, like the mm-hmm. like in The Dark Knight, they're okay. They're not bad. I think yeah. the chase sequence in the in Batman Begins is pretty cool, but it yeah. feels a, kind of like a standard chase sequence where it's like exteriors of yeah. a vehicle, of like a car chasing another car, and then interiors of him driving. Whereas this, it's like we got into it and we mounted the camera on yeah. the vehicle, yeah. like you were sure. saying. And when he pivots and does like three point turns or whatever he's yeah. doing, I think it makes you feel more like you're in the actual chase. Yeah. So uh, I think it I, feels it feels really cool. Yeah, so I think a combination of that and I think the combination of it feeling very sort of like mystery, thriller, crime, drama is really cool. And then I think using Bruce Wayne's history and his lineage, because you mentioned Oswald Cobblepot and mm-hmm. Oswald Cobblepot, kind of depending on what variation of the, of his story they're going to do, he also could potentially have some like ties to exactly. the history of Gotham City because exactly. you know he came from some wealth as well. So yeah, I think you yeah. have these like potentially three families, three or more families on top of the crime syndicates of Gotham City, on top of you know Catwoman mm-hmm. uh, being this character who's probably like somewhere in the gray, going back and forth between being Batman's ally and his enemy, which is yeah. how they always usually play Catwoman. But I like that. I like mm-hmm. when Catwoman is kind of like skating in the middle somewhere. And it yeah. kind of is to her advantage usually that she kind of like yeah. decides where she goes. And then you have obviously the relationship that Batman has with James Gordon, the Gotham City Police Department, Gotham's City Police Department's relationship with the mafia. Like there's just so many intricate pieces. Yeah, so I'm yeah. really excited to see like how all that works out. But this looks really, really cool. I almost also, kind of don't want to see any more trailers. Adam, do you feel like having that kind of intricacy could bog down the story some? Do you feel like if we get too much into the police side of thing? Mm. Because I don't feel like we're going to, but I feel like it might touch on those all those things. Do you feel that might drag it down, or are you are you pretty happy with what you're seeing and feeling like it's very Batman centric and the move the story's just going to keep moving? I'm pretty I'm pretty confident. You know, I really like the Matt Reeves apes movies that he did the two movies that he did i thought they were really well done and they're very mm-hmm. well paced efficient like the storytelling is really solid and on top of that you know they're going to have an hbo max like gotham pd show so yeah. i think they're really going to just like plant a lot of seeds here for that part of the story which will then get explored later on in the show and i'm i feel pretty confident that you know this is heavily going to be focused on bruce wayne's like mm-hmm. lineage and origin story mm-hmm. um not yeah. as not for him becoming batman but kind of like his connection to gotham city right, and then right. you know kind of worrying about the relationships he has with alfred selena mm-hmm. edward nashton and james mm-hmm. gordon it's always tough because this is a movie that is not an origin story but it is a reset for batman mm-hmm. like this is not a part of the DC extended universe. This is not mm-hmm. a part of anything else. This is its own thing on a, on a separate earth. So this is like really an opportunity to just establish a Batman story that I hope goes in the direction where we will eventually include, like, I hope that Matt Reeves sets it up and confidently states that like, this is the type of universe that could have characters like Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, mm-hmm. Bane, yeah, Clayface, yeah, yeah. Man Bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want to see some of those characters and we've seen some of them already. But I would love to see a new take on Mr. Freeze, a new take mm-hmm. on Poison Ivy. Yeah. I would love to see Clayface finally come to, come to the big screen. So Clayface needs to happen, man. Yeah. So I really hope yeah. that those like more um, out of this world concepts and ideas and characters could show up in a Batman movie. You know, like mm-hmm. Firefly is mm-hmm. going to be in Batgirl, and I, I would hope that someday you know we get to see you know those more obscure villains that maybe mm-hmm. have not been. You know, we've seen the Joker so many times. People are talking about, will this series have a Joker? I'm like, I'm okay with not having a Joker for let's the first not, trilogy. Yeah, let's not yeah, do that. For, let's not for do now. it. We've had so many iterations. Like, let's focus. Like, I love that it's yeah. Riddler. I love that it's yeah. Catwoman. Even mm-hmm. though we, I guess we did just have a Catwoman in the Nolan trilogy. Um, yeah. But let's get Mr. Freeze and all these other characters in there. Like, I'd love to see yeah. new takes on these characters. So, mm-hmm. but outside of that, I I feel really good about what I'm seeing, and this really feels like efficient efficient storytelling my i think my one 
only little, and this is like a personal nitpick. This has nothing to do with how I'm going to rate the movie eventually. Mm -hmm. But I do wish that maybe they used like a voice modulator for Robert Pattinson. Like I thought for Ben Affleck, that was so cool. Um, But it, it, doesn't it's whatever it's not the big i'm deal. okay with it i always it always the voice modulators always struck me as kind of silly mm-hmm. um and i don't feel like and this is just my opinion on batman that he would use a voice modulator like that mm-hmm. and that's only because i'm coming from batman the animated series where his voice was so iconic we're spoiled with that, kevin conroy <laughs> yeah with kevin conroy like the voice is so good on yeah. with the with the cowl on and with the cowl off Where's that voice? Like, I know. And no shade on Robert Pattinson or his take or anything. It's yeah. it's not everybody has has Kevin's voice. Oh, and for sure. And I don't sure. think anybody comes close to that uh, as far as Batman goes. But I'm okay. Like voice modulator, no voice modulator. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm AO. It's just like once again, super pumped for this. I hope yeah. this movie has a trilogy or this series has a trilogy, and I hope that like. The quality keeps up from what we're seeing, but I'm just super psyched to go see this day one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we get to go in a little earlier than day one. <laughs> That'd be great <laughs> if we got day negative two or something. Yeah, <laughs> I would yeah. love to see that very little early. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I, I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. But I'd love to know from the comments down below what do you guys think? Do you think that this will dive into the Arkham slash Wayne slash Cobblepot history of Gotham City. How do you think Batman will tie into all of it? And uh, what are some of the things that you hope that this movie does? And what comic books do you hope it pulls from? And if you are, if you did watch this trailer and you've seen the other trailers and you have a good sense of what comics this has pulled from, like I see a lot of like Lee Bermijo inspiration and all that stuff, recommend some stuff down in the comments. This is a really great opportunity for everyone to start exploring some Batman comics and maybe explore new stories that are maybe outside of like what we typically talk about, you know, your hushes and all that stuff. It's a good opportunity to try to explore something new and different. So let us know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next reaction.